decals for tomorrow's stream. So I'm not going to be on for super long, but let me put on a, a little hello in Discord for people who want to come check me out doing this. There's a big cat. She's shouting. Um, hang on. We're going to be working on making decals like this, which is the test that we did last week, inspired by this little coaster, I guess it was, with a cotton swab stuck to it, pardon me. Um, we found the colors last time, but I do want to play around a little bit with balance of color because the test we did last time has a little bit less of the light brown compared to the actual stone. So we are probably going to do a little bit of experimentation in ratios to start with. Um, and then we'll just be drip marbling and letting them dry overnight and then I'll be applying them to my nails tomorrow. Why are you so shouty, big cat? Okay. <laughs> He's a sweetie. Okay, so what we did last time as I had to go back and watch the VOD and see what order I actually did do for the first test because I couldn't remember. So the first layer that I did was three drops of Sally Hansen cinnamon and three drops of Zoya Tilda. And then the next layer was three drops of Zoya Evie, kind of half of them on the cinnamon and half of them on the Tilda, and um, three drops of Anybody Want a Peanut from Moonshine Manny on the remaining spaces. And then the last layer was eight, six drops of uh, Zoya Ireland. So uh, based on the ratio of that, I'm thinking I might need to do maybe one more drop of the light brown in, or two more drops of the light brown possibly in the top layer. So let's, let's try that. Let me make sure my focus is where we're going to be focused. Actually, I think the dripping part is easier if I lay it flat. So let's let's get these over and, and sit it on top of this. So we got one, two, three. I did end up consolidating my two bottles of Ireland. I had one bottle that was almost completely empty and uh, the backup bottle that I started using. I had used it one other time previous, um, and then I was using it for my testing. Um, so I was able to pour the old from the old bottle into the new bottle, and now it is a full new bottle. I'm going to do a test just like the last one that I did last time to see if I get a consistent result with the amount of, oh goodness, okay, well, that was an extra drip that I wasn't expecting, so I'm actually not, one, two, three, four, five, that's more like seven drops worth of the green because it all kind of poured over. the cinnamon color is not coming through as much in this as it did on the last one that I did last week. I got more of the of the cinnamon and I think that's because I just over dumped the green. Kind of drown everybody out. I mean I think we have enough that we could get one 
balanced nail out of it, like in this section over here where we have some dark. But I would not be happy with that for other nails if I am trying to be consistent. I'm going to use a different lid for the next test so that that can set a little bit before I use one of the other spaces on the, uh, the lid. Let's try to not over pour the Ireland this time. We've got a relatively large drop of the cinnamon this time. That is not an over preponderance of Ireland, so that is good. Definitely getting some more play with the dark cinnamon color. Sometimes you have to kind of pull the color in a couple of different directions before you get some swirls that you're happy with. If you let it fall in one direction for too long, you lose some of the intricacy. Okay. Compared with the first drop that I did, I want to look at my pictures and make sure that I don't, uh, for the second round that I was dripping. Okay, so I did EV one of them on the, on the cinnamon and two of them on the tilde. I think for this one I did two on the cinnamon and one on the tilde. And I did that for the last one as well. So let's do one where we have the actual matchup of what colors in the second round are sitting on top of what other colors. And see if that makes it. I mean, the stone itself does have more light brown in it, but if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I kind of would, I'm liking not quite having that much in the marble because it's inspired by the stone, but I don't necessarily want it to be exactly the same as the stone, if that's making sense. Okay. I like to try to keep the drips in a spherical contained kind of an area. So sometimes I'll bend the lid to kind of corral any uh, little careening pieces that are trying to go elsewhere. I'm trying to get some of this cream to come around before I let it pull down again so that it kind of starts to create a more 
balanced look with the rest of what's going on so it connects in with the other part of the marble. That one's got, where's the original one? It's got more of the light green showing in, less of the EV color. But there will always be variants within. So I'm going to go back to the first list, the first uh, lid, pardon me, and I definitely don't have enough dark um, in this first one. Again, I think I might be able to, to use part of this side of it, which isn't to say that this side isn't pretty. You know, it is. It's very pretty, but it doesn't feel uh, cohesive with the rest, so that's okay. We're going to try to stick with the same... The same ratios. So the peanut color is twice on the brown and once on a green. And the EV color is twice on green and once on the brown. I also need to decide how many nails I want to put the marble on, if I want to do all of them marbled, or if I want to do the marble as, like, a feature nail. It's not really an accent nail, but I wouldn't just do one nail. I would maybe do three nails with the marble, and then two, two nails with plain color, possibly. Or I could just do all of them marbled. I haven't, uh, I haven't decided. Okay, this one got a little bit amorphous in its distribution. Again, letting those two heads come together into one drop before I continue pulling it down into this wider swath where everything is kind of too spread apart to show up on the nail well. There. Okay, so then the second one that we did was this one. So we're going to go back to using this lid again. If I only get one nail from each decal, which, to be honest, I have been known to do in the past just because I'm picky about what part of the decal I want on my nail, um, then we need to have at least 10 good decals, which means we're probably going to have to use another lid because each one of these is really feasibly only going to fit three, and three times three is nine, right? And one of them we already have established as an inferior uh, specimen anyway, so. That's okay though. Right. The green needs to come back out again in this one, it kind of got hidden. But the more it stretches, the more the under layers start to show again. Do you see there how the green is coming out? There, I like that. Um, it's a little thick though. I'm trying to thin it out while still maintaining that shape. Oh darn, I didn't. But I'm getting other shapes that are also okay. There. Because if you keep it too thick, when you apply it to your nail, even if it's dry, it's thick, right? Because it's thick. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, 
I'm not really particularly fussed about having like old dry bits of polish on the lid underneath where I'm dripping because it'll just stick to the underside of the decal and it's not going to show through. Green. Please drip. Green. Brown. 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 Green. And then green, green, green. That one dripped off the dot, so I'm not going to worry about uh, I'm not going to like add another dot on the drop. It's just going to have to be next to it. For this one, there's a hair there. I don't want that in there. This one's not getting a whole bunch of the brown in it. I mean, it has some here on this side, and it has that one streak down the middle. But it's not getting a whole lot. I'm not super thrilled with that one. Oh. Hang on just a second. Sorry, my husband was texting me and things. Okay, let me adjust this slightly so we get a good shot of the big cat's pretty face. Yeah, they're so pretty. Um, and then we'll get to dripping on another drip, which is on this one, I think. Doesn't matter. This one's dry enough to use, no matter whether it was next in rotation or not. We might be able to fit four. Uh, on each lid, in which case that would be convenient. So I'm just going to be trying to place it as close on this edge as I can toward this other patch. But like if they run into each other, it's not that like upsetting because you're going to be cutting them apart anyway. Yes, big shout. Um, but. Uh, and since the other one is already, like, set, it's not going to, like, it, it just, like, running over the pattern of the other one, if you particularly like the other pattern, right, that, that would be a problem. So you just want to avoid completely obliterating it, but if it, like, touches edges, it's not going to cause any problems for anybody. All right. So we're going this way. We're pulling the brown around. Okay, you can see how there's a bunch of stretched out stuff on this side, so that, that's a, clue, a cue to me to turn, right, the design. And start pulling it the other direction. I'm 
getting a lot more of the the darker greenish bluish eevee color coming through on this one and a brown okay that's pretty good and I do still think we have room for another one on there so that's good Okay. Now we do also have the test from the first day, which is consistent with the rest of these. Um, so that increases our total as well. I did the brown dots slightly too close to each other on this one on that side so that's why I had to put the green dots in a slightly different sequence it doesn't really make that much of a difference Coming this way. I'll see right there. Turn in the corner. There's a big bubble. Do you see it right there? This one's awfully bright on the light green, too. Let's see if we can pull some of the polish down this way. Okay, there. I got some more of the dark green to come out. I'm not expecting this edge to turn into anything fabulous. I'm just thinning out the polish here on the edge. And then I am going to get a little uh, dotting tool or something and pop these bubbles so that they can not be in the decal if I can help it. There's actually one over here as well. Couple in these other ones that could do with some nothing. There. Now I want to look and make sure there aren't any big bubbles in any of these other ones. Little bubbles are not a huge problem. Big bubbles are. Looks like the few bubbles on this one already popped by themselves. That's nice. It doesn't really matter whether you do them on the front of the lid or the back of the lid, I've found. Some of these I have uh, the lip up and some I have the lip down. Uh, and that was just because of what side of the lid was clean. I've got other, other testing spots on the backs that have already been used. Does anybody want a peanut color? It is um, obviously from the Princess Bride collection that Moonshine Manny did. Uh, I think last year, or maybe in 2017. I think it was last year.
like some of the parts that are happening here in the middle for this one. We got some interesting patterns going on. Please don't pull on the chair, big cat. You know better than that. Hey, cut it out. I just finished watching season three of Fargo. And uh, they left the ending slightly ambiguous, which always kind of makes me, usually kind of makes me feel a little bit like, oh, come on. There are some ambiguous endings that I don't mind, but on average, I would rather be told, you know, what, uh, what's what. James was saying that season four is coming out this year sometime. I don't know how accurate that information is. Oh my God, I just dropped my lid. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our polish here uh, didn't get on uh, anything except a little bit of my pant leg. So that'll be easily fixable. Um, but we're going to start, uh, we're going to start that over because all of the polish in the space uh, that was supposed to spread around got not where it was supposed to be. So let me get a Q-tip. Let me get some acetone. That's miraculous how little of that actually came off the lid, but it all went into that weird edge. And I don't, it's not gonna flow for us, which is a bummer. All right, um, we're gonna use the space though. Uh, so we're gonna just get a Q-tip and kind of remove majority of the polish out of that little area. I'm going to use a cotton ball, I think. There we go. Okay, first you don't succeed. Try again. I'm still on the look for a color that's in the same shade family as Ireland, but more pale to put into my olive gradient. I know I've mentioned that before, but the hunt continues. If anybody knows of any, please do give me a holler. This bluish, greenish blob in the middle, I'm appreciating that it's sticking around, but it's too blobish. And I'm trying to stretch out the shape without losing the color. I don't have very much of the lime green in that one, but that's okay. It 
feels kind of like this one and this one are feeling more similar to each other than some of the other ones. But that's why we're making multiple, so that we have options. James said that there's a spin-off show from Breaking Bad called El Camino. It's, uh, they just put up a trailer for. I haven't seen the trailer yet. I, I want to watch it, though. With uh, Jesse in it. Jess Pinkman. My sister has not seen all of Breaking Bad, and I know I kind of got her to start watching it again. She had been watching it with her husband, who was uh, not as into it because it made him anxious. <laughs> um, but then I think she started watching it kind of more on her own recently. I really like that wrinkle there in the middle. Blobs. There we go. It's a little thick on this side. I do still want to thin it out a little bit. That'll do. Okay, and then this one. Him. Before I call this the last one, like after I finish spinning it, I'm going to take a look at all the decals I have and kind of envision which parts I'm going to want to put on my nails. And if there aren't enough, then I'll make some more on another lid, but... We'll see. Right, there might be plenty fine. to keep our polish in the space given us, right, or a left in, on this uh, lid, as it were. So we are trying to be a little bit judicious, but like this corner here doesn't really matter, so I don't mind running it over a little bit to give myself some more play space for this one. That looks good. Okay, so this one that I did in my test does have an area that I could use. So that's one. This area here is a possibility. There's less in this one that has interesting shapes that I, I like the wigglier shapes. Um, hmm. This area over here 
this if I let it be a stripier sort of a one as possible, or like right here between these two blobs is a possibility as well. This one has some interesting stuff, so that's three that are pretty good. That one has possibilities, that's four. Yeah, five, six, I like this area, seven, eight, okay, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Oh, that one's still wet. I don't want to tilt it too much. Nine, ten. Yeah, we've got enough. All right. So that's going to be it for stream for now. We're going to be using these decals tomorrow after they dry and applying them to my nails, which are bare. I took my polish off earlier because I, I don't know, I was tempted to pick at, pick at it because I had filed it because uh, one of my nails was starting to get a little rip on the side and I was able to like catch it and file them short and make shorter and make sure that it didn't develop into a tear. So it worked out. Uh, but then one of the edges that I was filing um, caught on something and the polish did and I was tempted to pick at it. So I took everything off and, and it will be good to go tomorrow. So I will see you all tomorrow. Um, I don't know if there's anybody that I want to host. So let me go check that out really quick. I think Colette's on, but I am not sure. So let's go find out. Okay, yes, Colette is on. So I'm going to host her. Let's have quick. Okay. I think she's playing Hollow Knight. So if you like that, you'll be in for fun. If not, I apologize. Have a good night.